For today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to solo queue in ranked. I know it's a common frustration amongst a lot of players not being able to get a good enough team to rank up with. We're going to be going from bronze to iridescent in this series. We're going to be teaching you how to break down teams, where to land, what to do, and how to get those high kill games with the win to ultimately gain the most SR. Game one from bronze to iridescent. We're going to be starting from bronze two, I believe. And landing in here, we're just going to be listening to our teammates' comms. Just creates less problems. You know, split dropping, we don't want that to happen. We just want to land with our team, get our loadout, and get frying. In these ranks, it shouldn't be too difficult. You don't lose any SR in the bronze ranks. So, really just getting one kill, you're going to gain. Um, so yeah, like I said, shouldn't be too difficult. We're just looting up here. I grabbed the bounty contract because even if it does get poached, uh, it does give us a few thousand, which helps us get our loadout. A lot of the time when solo queuing as well, teammates won't get a loadout. They just kind of refuse or they're just incompetent to. And loadout's oh, yeah. very, very important. It is quite frustrating when your teammates don't listen to you or, you know, don't, um, don't cooperate. Lodi, come on. Oh wait. I don't even know what my push to talk is. I am on like a fresh account, so my keybinds aren't fully set up. Damn. Being an inconvenience while you wait for the loadout, like th this is like the perfect scenario to just be shooting those random people out the sky. I know everybody's fighting up there, so nobody's really gonna push us. Um just tagging somebody up, even if it's across the map, even if it's only one damage, if somebody else kills that player. Uh, you will get the SR for it. As long as they don't play up. Yeah, loadout is very important off rip. Uh, especially with a broken meta like the Renetti. It's just nothing better than it. It's going to outgun everything, even if you maybe miss some shots. You know, the, the TTK is unreal. We have a video up with the class that I use. I did switch it up a little bit. I did remove the rear grip, I think, for the NIDAR, just because the reticle did fuck me up a few times. The iron sights, they do kind of players cover for the enemy and it just it was quite frustrating playing around here just playing the off angles getting as much SR as I can you know bronze ranks shouldn't be too hard to wipe these teams audio oh is a little bit broken on this um, I don't really know what it is but like if you're in a different room to somebody, it it just the sound cues are just way way off on this. So like there is situations where people do just run straight up at me or like run behind me and I don't hear them. So try and avoid giving your backup to things, even if you think you have audio on that um on that flank. Uh, a lot of hop-ups around the building. I do actually use side vault over the railing. Um, I will show this in another video, all the hop-up uh, tips in Rebirth Island, because there is a lot, and there's a lot of buildings you can finesse. Think of it as people camping above you on the main part of the roof, flanking on those boxes top right. It's probably the best way to do so. There's a AC unit you can heady, and you can usually get one blood from there. Like I said, the audio is a bit goofy. That guy just runs straight at me and I don't hear him. He is quite sweaty though. I suck. I ain't gonna yeah, start pulling kills. the excuses out of the game, uh, out the bag, but you know, it is, it is first game on. You know, <laughs> thankfully our teammates get the res. Guys, passionately sitting in a corner with a heartbeat, early. insane. That is passion though. Gonna love that. As long as your teammates can res you, it climbing these ranks should be very, very easy. Yeah. That's why getting loadout off rip is very essential because using the free loadout to regain off of is very important. Just keeping that pace and that flow up is is great. Just if you do get killed and you can't get your weapons. There's no crates around me. Looting crates and medic boxes, they do reduce the timer. Or just running around, it does reduce the timer too. Um, I would say though, probably 
laying in the corners is your best shout if you've got a lot of players around you. Playing your angles right in fights when team wiping is very important. Um, so say if there's two people running out in the open, see how I played that there. Um, yeah, I just rewind it real quick. How I played this pillar here, I used, I covered the line of sight from the other player and I singled out the first player. Just so I can't get shot. Like, come on. Think about the first player. Crack him, see the other one. Get on the heady. Get the down. Mess up the vault up. See the guy sniping me. He gets absolutely cooked there. Get the full. Know the last one's down by my teammates. Now this is part of the sweaty team, so I want to get him out. So I just try and hunt down this guy. Get him out the lobby. Okay, can he go this way? You got another whole fucking. Huh. Hopefully, get him out. Easy. Same bot guy that uh, that spat on okay. me earlier. Balloons aren't the greatest thing in rebirth, so kind of avoid using them. I think that one's probably the best one to use because you're less likely to get shot on, shot by, unless there's people already camping the rooftops. Air one, chow the one. See the other one on radar. So you run into a claymore. They do do an unbelievable amount of damage now, so flexed is quite quite key to avoid that. But honestly, I I really hate the beeping. <laughs> I I I don't oh, know. I, 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 right and the audio difference is I, I just can't get used to it. You know, run him down. For some reason, a little gremlin's hiding in the prison cell. Free kill, whatever. What are we doing? Yeah, but like I was saying, they did buff. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they buffed bounce and Betty's as well, which is unreal. Oh um, uh, yeah, I, I recorded an injury and then I was gonna do some more. Being wary of those is uh, very important. Oh, I do dead. get traded here. It's over. It's over. Didn't hear that other guy. I believe it was over because I did not they believe in my teammates, but they did tee up here. <gasps> Oh, we got another video coming out as well, so... Just staying consistent with it. Okay, there's only one guy. I'm very, very confident with this gun, so getting the kill is... shouldn't be too hard. Singling out people is probably the best thing to do. Um, if you know it's only a solo, just, you know, just send it, get the four, you know, get the information on the last two, and then play from that. Also, when getting to about eight teams while Resurgence is up, it's best to start farming at that, at those teams. Um, I think in the lower ranks it's possible as a solo, but this is kind of more so if you're playing with a squad type thing. Just saving as many people as possible. very important, especially once you get to like Aerie and stuff. There's a lot of hop-ups in this building. Um, like I said before, I should make another video. Um, I have two of them down. Probably make another video like next week, just teaching you guys all the hop-ups in Rebirth. This building's very, very good oh, for it. We're dead. I believe we do get wiped here, unfortunately, but there's really not much you can do. I didn't hear that guy come up behind me and this is so bad. my teammate does the craziest it? shit ever. And this is just the frustration of solo gods. Well, solo ranked, sorry. As you can see, I'm just in, in shock. <laughs> Jumping a little bit ahead here, we're Silver 3 now. Um, thankfully, we found ourselves some teammates that actually speak English and talk in prox chat. Um, this is our Heiko game. We dropped 31 in this one. Not a very great lobby, but <laughs> it shows you how we pace it, what we do. Um, we do get a lot of UAVs up. Thankfully, I do find one off rip. Not really locked in off rip. I know there's nobody around me. Oh, can we step up with the cash game? Come on. Get lady. We got a bounty yeah, up just step. for the extra cash if it gets poached. We get load out off rip. Lady, lady. Oh, it's about 12.5. How much did you just draw? We got 12.6. a little bit. I'm cool, more bear. Two. 
I see everybody in UAV. It's our bounty we can third party. Just free kills people. everywhere. We pick. Everybody's fighting inside. Just gonna full send it because I know everybody's gonna be weak, and I have my Renetti. Nobody else is gonna have their loadout guns, and the Renetti is just so overpowered that it's like nothing's even gonna come close to killing me. So I just have all that confidence in the world just to kill everybody in my path. Nice. Some reason he does challenge me when he's the last one out of the team, which makes no sense. No Somehow I still that. that kill as well. <laughs> Damn. Nice seven off rip. Yeah, buy UVs and then hit balloon. Buy a lot of teams got wiped here. I could have farmed this lobby Zim. a lot better, yeah, bro. but um, <laughs> it is what it is. We're using the money that we got from the bounty to buy more yeah, UVs. Yeah. Teammates thankfully buy more UVs too. I did say balloons like, aren't that great, more, more. You guys have but they place. are if you have information on where everybody is and you know there's nobody around ready to shoot you off. Um, yeah. These balloons are very, very slow zipping up, so you're just a free kill if somebody sees you. Um, but I I would say if you are being shot off, uh, if you're getting shot off of a balloon, the best thing to do is literally just to spin around in circles. It breaks aim assist and it's very hard to track and you're pretty much impossible to kill. A lot of people don't do that, as well as pro players. Nobody really knows about it, but it's honestly such an effective strategy. All right, I'm this chow was a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Get hit by a PA through the building. Is what it is. So fucked. Throw smoke instantly because I know his teammates are gonna come for the trade. Here is teammate pushing. They have reload. Easy pick. Get the pick. Look at my radar. Know the last one's on the roof. Challenge him. Kill him. Last one's down on this roof as well. I know he has self res because it's the last one out of the squad. Last one out of the team. Yeah, he's just opened a crate up there. But honestly, just keeping the UAVs flowing is so, so essential. The information that you gain is. It's game changing. I'm popping in another UV. I think there's more people. You know, to like just play out. the right fights and play the right fights correctly. It's basically makes you unkillable. Pop of that UV, single in and out the people that are going to be the easier fights. Where, where Team on the left. Wait. There's nobody around them. Oh, no third parties. Behind, they have no clue I'm coming. Just slowing down my movement, trying not to make as much noise as possible. ADS walking. A two piece. Making sure you always have to jump on when there's multiple this people. In the, uh, it's kind of impossible to push us. kill two people if they know exactly where you are. Um, you just have to pray to God they miss every single shot. But you have to make sure you get the first blood without losing that much health. Um, <laughs> with that, that was played perfect. Got the first pick before the other guy even started yeah, shooting me. Easy. And I have the Renetti, so I'm just going to get cooked. And if the guy's down, he gassing me up. Okay. Has to be if I'm a pro player or something. Didn't hear what he said. Yeah, I, I didn't shoot that one because I know he wasn't going to die to another team because I knew that was his team. Oh, when flies in, it's a free pick. Using the glass panels as a head glitch. The other one has a pistol. No, it's the last one out of the team. Honestly, shouldn't have killed him, but um, I don't know. I was getting a little bit horny for the kills. Farming teams is a little bit weird. If you know it's a complete bot lobby like this one, then definitely farm. Definitely, definitely farm. I should have farmed. I probably could have dropped 40 in this one if I did. Um, especially as a trio. If, if you're a trio and the lobby isn't too great, it's definitely worth farming. Getting rid of the, the sweaty teams and just picking and choosing who you keep alive. Gets you way, way more SR. Especially when you get into the higher ranks. Yeah, I got a little bit horny here. Team wipe these as well. Using the smoke there and slide into the heady. Making sure that guy has no way of shooting me before I get to the... Team wipe that guy. To fight in him. Yeah, you can. There's another team over here. Two teams fighting down here. In the third party. You pick. See everybody on radar. You can keep in them UAVs flying though. What are you? Did you just leave the game? 
Waiting for another ping. See where everybody is. See the solo on the right? Play for him first. Get some tags on him. No, he's not going to chow us. So I play for the guy on the left. Back that guy too for my teammate. Yeah, I'm chasing. I'm going to drop him from above. Got him here. Multiplier's into two, apparently. I'm playing my angles right. Getting the first blood. Other ones runs back. Crack him too. Oh, he's got some shit pain. I heard him and then he, he then he stopped moving. So I know he could only be so far and just using that's what's running using map, map knowledge and, um, and just your brain. Like you really can't go farther. Can only be behind that box. The sticky one. Fire sale happens around zone three, just before uh, resurgence ends. So, making sure you save your money around then, just for another UAV and probably an airstrike. It's very, very good to get the information up. Um, UAVs end zone aren't too helpful. Right about now, they are still, but once it gets a little bit later, they just become pretty much pointless. Uh, so, using an airstrike for the rotates and putting pressure on teams is very, very, very essential. Using UAV, no, there's only one person. The rotate out. Can only come from two ways. Just a free pick. He's getting pushed by gas. Let's come out of this burning. He's right here. <laughs> Got another UAV. Just stuck in the lobby. Got one. Yeah. Get another yeah. UAV up. See the guys up on the left. Is this a Singling out the, the solo? Yeah. No, okay. Saving my teammates' life. Just making sure you're singling out people. Making sure you aren't going to get shot by any other people. Just picking the easier fights. It's just going to be the most consistent way to gain SR. Let's fly up to height. Oh, wait. Balloon just disappeared. You're using Balloon again because I have the information on where everybody is and I know I'm not going to get shot out of the air. Got a UAV. Gonna clear rooftop, clear everybody around here to make sure we can't get flanked. Yeah, get the crack. Don't get the pick there. I uh, dropped left because seeing into that doorway, it's very bad. You can't see really much in there. It's just super dark. The guy jumps out, but I hear the guy to my right. It's just an easy pick. This guy goes for the buy. Usually I would let him rise here, just so I can get the extra picks. But for some reason he just gives up going for the buy and he tries to play for me. That isn't even resin. Entry. Easy pickings. Using this wall run up to get up to height is the fastest way, just from there. I would make another video about all the hop ups and different routes you can take in this game because there is a lot in Resurgence and they are very 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 helpful. We got a whole team with me, I don't know if they're on my roof or not. It's honestly the difference between wiping and not wiping a team. Are they up here? On the roof? Or are they blue? I can't tell. And playing position once Resurgence ends is is great. See we, we've, we've had height since Resurgence ended. Oh, so strange. And we can just pick everybody late rotating in. Oh, I've been dead. below me. There's a free pick through the glass. You can hold down this whole center bit just from the square bit, and it's kind of impossible to die from here. Don't hit. drop. You psycho. I would never drop here, but my teammate did. And even if my teammate did, I wouldn't follow him. But this, this lobby is just there. pretty bad, right. so... I just send it with him. Using game knowledge, know where that kid is. I saw him run right, and he made no noise after. Got blue and Charles, I'm pretty sure. They ran right, he stopped making noise. He could. Only a few places he can be right, behind. Either under the archway or in the in the cellar. Still that kill. There's only two left. Stick on this guy. And it's a 3v1. That's okay. It's pretty much a wrap from her. Room. Well, the pace was really, really good this game. We probably could have dropped 40 if we maybe farmed a little bit more. He's above. But the pace with the UAVs and the way we played it was absolutely great. Yeah, 
engine was a little bit stinky yeah, there, we still get the car. <laughs> or 31. We'll what? take that one. We'll take that one. That jumped us up from silver Do 3 to gold 1 straight away. <laughs> uh, this is where uh, we're going to end the series. Or end this part of the series. We're going to have gold to diamond next. And then from diamond probably to crimson. And then from then it's going to be a tough, tough grind to solo queue from crimson to iridescent I think.